Here are some problems where we have mixed numbers. And remember, a mixed number has both an integer part and a fraction part. And then there's also some math to do with it, maybe addition or subtraction or multiplication or division. A couple of steps here. The first thing is to convert the mixed numbers into improper fractions. And remember, to do that, you take this integer and you multiply it by the bottom. So that's multiplication there. 5 times 2 is 10. And then we add that to the top. 10 plus 1 is 11. And we put that over our denominator. So 5 and 1 half is 11 halves. I'm going to put that minus sign back in, but now I'm going to work on this one. We'll do the same here thing here. 3 times 5, that's times, is 15. And then we add that to the top. 15 plus 4 is 19. And that goes over the original denominator, fifths. So that's one step done. We need to do another step before we can actually do the subtraction because you'll notice the denominators are not the same. And you cannot add or subtract fractions until the number on the bottom, the denominator, is the same. When I look at these, I think probably the nearest denominator I could get them both to be would be 10. If I multiplied this 2 by 5, that'd be 10. If I multiplied this 5 by 2, that would be 10. And when we do that, remember we multiply by some, a fraction that's the same on the top and the bottom. In this case, I want to do 5 over 5. And I'm going to multiply that. So 5 times 11 is 55. And 5 times 2 is 10. So we've got a denominator of 10 there. Now over here, I can multiply by 2 over 2. And I'll get a denominator of 10 as well. And then we can finally do the subtraction. Well, 19 times 2 is 38. And 5 times 2 is 10. Let me write, rewrite this over here now. So we've got 55 over 10 minus 38 over 10. A lot of steps to get there. Now it's simple. All we have to do is take 55 minus 38 and put that over 10. And that should be, I think, 17. Not quite done yet. We have 17 over 10, but this is an improper fraction, and we want to convert it back to a mixed number. We should convert it back to the kind of format it was in when the problem started. Well, how many 10s are in here? I can take one 10 out of there, and I would have 7 left over. So this will be 1 and 7 tenths. A lot of work. Let's try this one. Oh, it's, I've kind of written over it a little bit, but this is 4 and 1 fourth minus 3 and 1 third. First step, we want to get rid of the mixed numbers and turn them into improper fractions. So 4 times 4 is 16, plus 1 is 17 over 4. So 17 fourths. Over here, we'll do the same thing. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. So that's 10 thirds. So we have 17 fourths minus 10 thirds. Now I've got to figure out how to get the denominators the same. In this case, I think I could turn them both into 12s. I would multiply this one by 3. I would multiply this one by 4. So over here, I have to multiply by 3 over 3. And 17 times 3 is 51. And 3 times 4 is 12. And then over here, I have to multiply by 4 over 4. 10 times 4 is 40. And 3 times 4 is 12. Now I can do my subtraction. I have 51 twelfths minus 40 twelfths. So 51 minus 40 is 11 twelfths. And I should be done there because this is not an improper fraction. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. Okay, one more here. And this looks even trickier, but maybe it's, it's slightly easier. Well, we have 1 and 3 fifths divided by, and then in parentheses, all of this stuff. 3 and a third plus 2 and a half. The first step is to do the work inside the parentheses first. So I want to add these two. And again, I have to convert them to improper fractions first. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, so that's 10 thirds. Remember, this is all inside our parentheses. I'll do the same thing over here. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5, so that's 5 halves. So I've got 10 thirds plus 5 halves. I want to add these. So I need to convert them so they have the same denominators. 
I'm going to multiply this one by, I'm, I'm going to go for a denominator of 6. So I'm going to multiply this one by 2 over 2. 2 times 10 is 20. 2 times 3 is 6. This one I'm going to multiply by 3 over 3. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 3 is 6. Now I have 20 over 6 plus 15 over 6. I can add those together. I get 35 over 6. Now let me also go back up here and convert this to an improper fraction. 1 times 5 is 5. 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's 8 fifths. Now I have 8 fifths divided by 35 sixths. At this point, I don't need to worry about denominators anymore because I've got division. What I do need to do is turn this into a multiplication problem. The way I do that is I take this one and I flip it upside down, the reciprocal of that. So this becomes 8 fifths times 6 35ths instead of 35 sixths. Now I can multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So 6 times 8 is 48, and 5 times 35 is 175. So I come up with 48 175s, and I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do to reduce that. Um, the, the factors in 48, 2, 6, 8, see if 175 is divisible by any of those. And I don't think it is, so this may be our simplest form. 48 175ths. Whew, that one was tough.